All right, today we're gonna be uh, adjusting the wheel bearings on this uh, trailer for a buddy of mine. He uh, brought it in. I noticed when he backed it in my driveway, bringing a piece of equipment that the tires were kind of bowing out a little bit. So I was like, hey man, we need to check the bearings on that. Um, the other side I uh, already did and the linkage was loose as well on the other side. It's pretty tight on this side, but the bearings are loose on this side. It's got a little bit of a, this one's pretty bad. So basically all you have to do to adjust the bearings, these have a buddy bearing type deal on them, um, where you can just pop this rubber cap off and uh, put wheel bearing grease in with a grease gun and pack the bearings without having to take the wheel bearings apart, which is great. But um, to, in order to adjust them, you got to take this cap back off. It's not a big deal. Uh, you just basically take a screwdriver, work it around the cap, pop it off. There's a lock ring inside. Uh, and then you adjust your nut to tighten up the wheel bearing. Put the ring back on, put your cap back on, pump it full of grease again. So uh, I want to show you how to do that real quick. Um, we're going to start with this loose bearing. First, I got my knee pad out so I don't kill my knees on this concrete. Um, Walk it around. Once you get a good gap coming out of there, you just walk around and twist the screwdriver until you pop the cap out. See, there's the cap. It's full of grease. This part's rubber, and you just pop this, pop this cap out, and you can get to the grease cert, which is right here in the center of the bearing. Um, I'm going to wipe the grease off the, the retainer so I can see it for one. You just got to get in, pop that thing out of there. Caleb, okay, grab me a couple more of these towels, please. All right, so you get in there and you pop that retainer out and you just uh, you see the, the looseness of that bearing. I can get to the, the nut that tightens the bearing now with the retainer out of the way. You don't have to tighten it a whole lot, just, just enough to take the slack out of the bearing. See there? No more wiggle. Just a little bit more. Thank you, sir. This uh, retaining clip has a, a notch on it, and there's a notch cut out in the end of the axle right there. So you just find that notch.
just walk your retainer back on, double check it. Everything's good and tight because our nut hadn't moved. The retainer keeps the nut from backing off, supposedly. Um, some styles have a cotter, cotter key, cotter pin. Um, this, this style just has a retaining lock that goes over the top of the nut. So that's basically it. Um, we'll drive the cap back on. And you can pop the center out of the cap. And you can get to your grease zerk. And I'll grab a, a grease gun and we'll stick some grease in this thing so you can see what that looks like. Full synthetic uh, grease I keep in the in the grease grease gun. It's a lot more expensive, but it's a it's a hell of a lot better for high temp stuff. These bearings tend to get hot, and you got a heavy load on them. And you're going down the highway, so uh, I want the most protection I can get out of a grease. Uh, I try to run full synthetics in all my vehicles um, as much as I can. Basically, I'm just going to pump it, and you're going to see it start to come out of the bearing. I'm going to let it come on out a little bit and push some of that dirty oil out, or dirty grease out. Um, and that may be the end of my grease. Anyway, that should be good. I don't want to create too big of a mess like I just did. Dealing with wheel bearing grease and grease guns, you're gonna get greasy. We know that bearing's full of grease because it pushed from that back bearing all the way through. Um, and we'll put the put the rubber dust protector back in. And that's it. And then you just do the exact same thing on all four wheels. I only needed to do it on one wheel in the front, uh, on this one on the front as well. This one in the back is, is uh, really doesn't need adjusting. I'm gonna hit grease on all four of them though. Uh, this one's done, we'll just do the other three. I didn't grease the one I did on the other side yet. So just a quick maintenance. I mean, literally it took five minutes, maybe, once you got your tools together. Got the floor jack up onto the uh, trailer to get it up off the ground so you can spin your wheel around. Um, and get the pressure off of it so you can check the, the looseness of the bearing. And that's it. So we'll go around, I'll grease the rest of these bushing or uh, wheel bearings and he'll be ready to go again. And that is how you adjust wheel bearings and grease them. All right, have a good day. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share with a friend. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. All right, we're going to give you a better camera angle just so you can see the bearing and the nut a little better. And there's not a lot to see, but I uh, just thought I'd add this in. Once I get it started. Walk it around. There's your cap, rubber insert. Now we're going to uh, pop this retainer out.
here's that notch I was talking about it goes to that flat part of the axle So this bearing isn't too loose on this back wheel, but we decided to go ahead and tighten it. Say we, I decided. Alright. Brakes are dragging a little bit on this one, but and you find your notch, line it back up with your axle. Pop your retainer back on. Pop your cap back on. Pop your center cap out and then you can inject it with grease. And, um, and that's it. I'm gonna probably have to run to the parts store if I can't get any more grease out of this. I think I may be out of grease. There may be some in there. There we go. Yeah, it's coming out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hopefully you can. And hopefully that'll be a little bit better field of view for you. Um, simple, simple, simple. Just uh, tighten your, your bearing up, pop some grease in it, and you're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any suggestions, please drop them in the comments. They'll be greatly received. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel and would love uh, feedback and um, to help with the community and, and, um, and grow this thing. I know the video production in the past hasn't been that great, so we're trying to improve on that. And uh, my editing skills are getting a little better, not much, but uh, they will get better, I promise, over time. Uh, please stick around, subscribe, stick around, see what else we got in store. Uh, we do a variety of things uh, around here, um, anything from cooking, hunting, fishing, uh, working on cars, motorcycles, four-wheelers. Um, we're going to start training a lab soon, uh, try to retrieve ducks. Uh, we do a little bit of everything around here, so there's, there's a variety of things going on all the time. We are... Uh, well, we're happy you're here and I uh, hope you stick around. Thanks again.